Hi. This video is an inspiration video. I watched a video yesterday from Creative Frenzy and I really liked it. I wanted to share the video down below in the description box for you to see. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to get inspired as well. Um, she has really, really great videos and and she just started to work with junk journals. So I was inspired yesterday um, seeing her video and I wanted to make a bunch of envelopes. So I made two today and um, just wanted to show you how they look like. They're both created with uh, packaging. So I used um, some packaging that I got in mail with my order and I wanted to try the fabric washi tape so i did that and this actually when you open it it has three pockets this is second and the third pocket and i do this project a little bit differently but it's mainly the same way of making them um so i put some tags and uh, like longer tags in it <laughs> This is what I made today. This is from advertisement and I just um, put it down because it kind of looks nice. Cookies and some more packaging. So um, I use the brown uh, packaging where it's perforated to create this. I think she did as well. Um, so just check her video and check her other videos. She has really good stuff. So this is the second one that I made. Um, I use a different washi like this one that has two colors, so, uh, but it's the same thing. Um, I think in this video, I'm just going to make one with something else if you don't have washi or you're just starting out. So um, yeah, these are really cute, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm just going to make a few with uh, regular... Um, papers as well because uh, why not these are really simple and quick I would go for the pieces that are like mainly whole um, and even though here's a rip I'm gonna try to fix this before uh, I fold the fold the paper together so I have this piece that it's really bad and I'm gonna just use the top of this portion to fix here and that's gonna be pretty much it and then I'm gonna do all the rest uh, folding like I would do with regular paper so like this I'm gonna use a little bit of glue stick because I think that's the best option here to glue it down really good And I did have a um, rip like along here and I just fix it um, inside with a little bit of glue and piece of paper. So don't worry if your paper is really bad or torn, you can always fix it. So let's see. This is my new camera um, setup. So I'm not sure how great or how badly you can see it hopefully it's good and um and i can continue using this uh whenever i want to make a video okay i'm gonna use glue here as well is this the right side i think it is and just try to align it with the top and maybe i'm going to use this as a bottom or inside not sure yet we'll see when I'm gonna fold stuff I was binge watching a lot of the creative frenzy videos so when she posted these videos um, about using packaging to make envelopes I was really like oh I have to try that and when I did I was like oh, I better make a video about it so others can see as well um, so yeah this is what I'm doing now. It's it's noticeable, but not as much as you would say that it's ripped, you know, or it's missing piece. So I think this is gonna be inside. So this is huge piece. 
and I'm just going to fold it. You can have smaller ones as well, um, just depending what you have, or you can glue more of them together if they're really, really small. This is not so much on center, but it doesn't matter. Just gonna go with it. I'm overlapping about a centimeter or so. And I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be top and bottom straight. Um, gonna have this on outside. Okay, that's all good. So I think I said I'm using glue stick, but I think for here I'm going to use just a regular. Um, okay, let's use the glue stick. Hopefully this is gonna be just fine. Um, but um, for this. I used um, regular white glue because it was easy to apply. And I, like this, I'm just trying to be straight. Like, hopefully I am straight. Um, if your paper is not really flat, you can iron that um, paper out or, these were stacked, um, under the books, so they're kind of fine. But yeah, you can iron them. That's another option. Now, I think I'm gonna make, I'm going to start, oh, I hope I'm not off screen. I'm going to start doing the flap and I try to pinch here together so it's not all wobbly and stuff because it doesn't really want to fold. So I'm pinching in the middle where I made the fold and glued together. And it's a, like an, an inch or so, just trying to hold it together. And I'm going from the middle, left and right. And you can crease with whatever you have. In this case, I'm just using the scissors. I'm going to cut the corners off. So this is still the top. Uh, I usually leave like usually I made two <laughs> I'm going to leave like um, five maybe eight millimeters here and just cut a little bit off so I will have that shape of an envelope and I will try to open this so I'm going to use my craft knife and I'm going to open this eight millimeter thingy both sides don't worry if you go a little bit over it's it's gonna be fine and I'm going to cut this this off I'm trying to be neat and now I have the top flap like this. So at the bottom, I, I'm just going to um, leave it as it is. And I wanted to use like washi tape and then I realized I have way more painted papers and painted receipts and stuff. For this project, I would say painted receipts um, would work really good because it's really thin paper or um, maybe you have some newspaper that you painted. So I'm going to use this and I already made a few of the strips here with my ruler. So I am going to use these uh, to make my pockets sturdier and this is going to be maybe a little bit fiddly, but I'm, I'm going to just try to do it. I'm not sure if I should use a glue stick or regular white glue, but I'm going to start with glue stick and then see if I should um, change it or not. So applying glue on the end uh, of the envelope to create a pocket. And I'm just going to like eye it. What's the middle here? Yeah, let's say that's kind of it. And I'm gonna take it off here. And now I'm gonna open this. And I'm going to try to apply a little bit of glue inside. 
Yeah, maybe I should use a regular white glue. Or, I don't know, let's try with this. It's a little bit fiddly, as you can see. So, it's like a sleeve at the moment. And I'm going to turn it inside. Okay, can I do it? Yeah. Just to make it more sturdy. I could do that as well before I glued the sleeves together. That would be easier for this kind of thingy. Like so. Right away. Okay, we have one. And I want to make another one. Yeah, let's go blue. I'm gonna start in s outside. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit easier. Like so. And this, let me see. Like so. Hopefully I'm not off screen. I always think like I'm off when I do think. <laughs> okay, right. So, I'm going to use the glue. It's not totally straight here, but maybe I can lift off a little bit and re-glue. So now I'm just applying the glue and we're gonna do the same thing. You just repeat that like three, three times, I think, like two pockets and one pocket above. So that's gonna be three. And then it's just embellishing. And you can use whatever you want. If you don't want to use newspaper, you can use book pages. Totally up to you. Okay, let's make this one as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna put, which one? I think I'm gonna put this one here. Using this small glue stick, because I bought a bunch and just wanted to use it up. It's really good glue, but um, not sure if this is the right project for it. But you get less of um, crinkling and stuff. So now I'm gonna try to fold this together and kind of to go inside and let me open this. It's gonna be easier if I can see what I'm doing. Just put a little bit of glue here. Like it's it's really quick project. It's not like taking you a long time. But um, if you wanted to make it really nice, then put a little bit more time in it into it. You can't see much right now, but yeah, I'm folding that flap in, um, newspaper flap. So it's like this, it's all nice and tidy, like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is um, fold. Oh, maybe I can do the top as well. I uh, wanted to put something pinkish, more pink, pinky, like this. Yeah. And I wanted to put one across here as well. Let's glue this down. More glue stick. And folding. Going to chop off corners. I didn't want to make it smaller, so. Because I'm pretty sure I would, uh, 
I would have, wait, I would not have enough if I cut the paper before that. Okay, so it's like this. I'm trying to make a better crease. And I'm gonna do this right now. I wanna do the blue, blue. Let's do the blue, blue. I usually have something um, underneath, but this time I just, uh, I didn't even think about it. I just wanted to make this. So I have just a regular table. No protection, but I'm gonna wipe it down after, so it's all good. And here. Uh, just don't want to see any white page showing. Now, I have this wonderful thing. I'm gonna make um, a crease here again, so it's all neat and tidy. I mean, who needs washi tape, really? <laughs> this looks beautiful. And now I'm going to fold this lip up to here. And I'll try to be neat because I kind of like to be knit with edges. That's just uh, what I like. I don't know what to... Okay, I'm going to try this. Using my cap of my glue stick to make better crease. And it's really helping to flatten everything and... Make it really sharp. Okay, and now this is gonna go over like so. I'm going to put here, here, and here all around these strips of paper. And uh, I think this is gonna be the bottom. I'm gonna try to do the top. Uh, I mean, left and right. Yeah, it's hard to talk and craft at the same time. So I'm gonna do this. And I go up to the actual um, starting of the lip. I don't even know how to say that. So that's it. Okay, more glue. Like so, on the other side, I want something pink. Ooh, I love this one. Yeah, this one's going up. I think initially I wanted to have this one as like on the back, but I guess I forgot what I planned when I was cutting the strips. And um, like, where are you going, glue stick? Like so. Yeah, I think this is kind of neat. Yeah, okay, so one more thing here and that's it. I'm gonna be finished. I'm gonna glue stick everything down. Where do I want the purple? Here? Okay. I think with this it's way easier than <laughs> with washi tape. I was struggling because it was curling on me and um, this was even worse because um, it didn't want to go straight. And I was like, oh, why don't you want to go straight? Why are you stretching out? So I think with paper is even easier. Um, if you want to do your edges like that. Totally. This is really nice mixed media one. I 
Just gonna check if there is everything is sealed, but it looks like it's fine. And I love the colors, they're so vibrant. This was one of the pieces that was not finished. I mean, finished. Uh, when I make some painty papers, I put a pile of painty papers that are not completely finished, in my opinion. You know, when you look at the page. Um, and if they're not finished, then I just put them to another pile. And I was taking stuff from that pile out. And yeah. Okay, I think this is neat enough. And we have three pockets. And I don't even know where was that page that was really damaged. Where was it? Oh, probably here. No? No? I don't know. Somewhere here. Oh, this one. But you can't even tell. So we saved the whole paper. And let me just take some tags out of here and let me put them inside there, just because I can. <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun project. I really like it. And I have a lot of longer tags like this, so they don't need to go into a just um, regular pockets. Why not put them in the envelope and put this envelope into the actual journal? Um, pretty sure this could be the middle of the journal as well. Like you would have a storage in the middle of the journal. So this is the project for today. I uh, made it a little bit more simpler um, in my opinion. Maybe it's more complicated, I don't know. Uh, you will decide for yourself. And if you wanted to make some washi, um, you can use the actual washi you already have and you really dislike it. Um, Maybe I'm gonna make a video in the future about it. But I use a bunch of this washi, this really bad washi. Bad, I'm saying it's bad. I mean, the glue is fine, just I, I don't like it, what it's on it. So this washi, right? And uh, you can just paint it up and decorate it. And I think I made a few. Not sure if this was the washi or was something else, but I made some on jelly printing and I made some just with coloring with um, regular acrylics and paintbrush and stenciling over. And this is another old one. So you have options um, to create your own washi tape or just your own strips with whatever you have. Please go check Creative Frenzy videos and her channel. Just say hello to her and let her know that you're coming from her channel. I really appreciated you taking time to watch this video. I hope you're gonna try this project because it's really, really fun. And it's one of the projects that can actually create a lot of envelopes really quickly. And you don't even need much of the crafting supply to make it. So thank you very much for watching and bye.